Yeah, so if you think about it, USC's football team is like the pro team in LA, but UCLA, you guys are just geared towards like like basketball and like things people don't care about. Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Coast Show. I'm your host, Albert Aguilera. As always, there's my producer, Curtis Stage. And uh, Curtis, what's on the agenda today? Today we're going to be talking about college football, USC, uh, and UCLA. We are going to also talk about why college football players are so stupid. It's true. It, they are. It's like, guys, come on. Like, you're about to go pro and make a ton of money. Stop doing stupid shit. But uh, week one, <laughs> football is finally back, and we don't have a pro team in L.A., and, you know, USC, UCLA are the football teams that we have here. And I'm a USC fan. Curtis is a UCLA, UCLA. Ruins fan. And uh, this is good. One, we'll have a battle all, no, this is all great. season. Yeah, and week one, week one, uh, Arkansas State. You know, week one, you you play the the fluff game. You know, get yeah. your get your offense going. Practice, and you can't unless you lose. You can't really fault your team week one because you're you're practicing new stuff. Everything that you did all summer is what you're trying to do. And USC looked like garbage in the first quarter. This game should have been over in the first quarter. But like, what should have been our strong point, our O line. Total garbage. Uh, Kessler gets sacked five times. I mean, he's a third-year starter. This guy's a senior on the team. He's a Heisman hopeful. Uh, he still did a good job. He threw for four touchdowns, 230-some yards. Yeah. And ultimately, USC wins this game 55-6. to six, But if you look at the the first quarter, they should have been up 28-35 nothing. Yeah. Uh, Kessler was running out of the pocket. He was getting sacked. He was over. He was moving way too much. He was moving a lot more than he should have. Eventually, the team gelled. And I guess it's you know Sarkeesian after having his uh, – his, his drunken ballads, he, he gave up his play calling responsibility to his offensive coordinator, so that may have been a little of an adjustment for the guys because the that first quarter, it. they sucked. The first quarter looked bad. Yeah. The second quarter, they started to pick it up. Mm-hmm. Going into the half, they were leading, and they they just, after halfway through the second quarter, they just kind of like took over the game, and that's yeah. why they ended up 55-6. Yeah, I think they just weren't on the same page in the first quarter, and that's that that happens. Um, should Sarkeesian have been fired for his drunken? Absolutely not. He gets paid no. to win football games, and that's exactly what he did. He doesn't get paid to like speak to to boosters. That's not his but, job. But he is a role model to our young athletes. I mean, he was hammered at that. Th- okay, so you're gonna not- tell me these college kids don't get hammered on the weekends? I don't know if his. I don't know if the football players hey, do. He's he's going through like a divorce right now. Okay, so we'll let him slide on that. He did his job and he won the game. Okay. So that's all you care about is wins. Wins. Okay. It doesn't yes. matter if... Okay. Um, so USC... As as what you do is illegal or immoral, I'm okay with it. So where is USC ranked? Uh, going into the season, they were ranked... Going into the season, preseason, they were ranked eighth, which is a, a great ranking in, in the sense of college football because college football, it's all about style points, right? Yeah. Baseball, hockey, I want, I want the Giants to lose every game. Yeah. Right? I want the Ducks to lose every game. But I'm the complete opposite when it comes to college football. And a lot of people, a lot of people give me shit for this. But what I want to do, any team that my team is going to play needs to win every game that they play until they play us. So that when we destroy them, it makes us look better and it yeah. gives us style points. Because it's not like, oh, you got to win your division. you got to win your conference. It doesn't mean anything. Because if you win your division, win your conference, but the national media sees it as, well, that conference wasn't as good this year. Yeah, You're but not going to make the playoffs. But the Pac-12 is good. I mean, we got the Oregon and Oregon, UCLA Oregon, are also UCLA, in the top Utah, 15. Right. Utah is amazing. They beat Michigan, and Michigan's not a slouch team. No. I mean, and, they, and Utah uh, played really well. It was at home, and they played really well. So USC's ranked U- UCLA. Uh, 13th going into week one. Okay. And they're going to move really up great, because yeah, they really look great, really good. Right. It's a really great uh, standing for them to start the season because um, – you start a season based on how you ended the last season. That's how these yeah. pre like personally, yeah, Ohio State I was hate number one. preseason rankings. Preseason rankings are total garbage. Preseason rankings are there so that you can sell games sure. the first five weeks of the sure. season. Because you don't know who's good and who's not a uh, preseason, a week in. We weeks generally weeks. know who's pretty good. You have an idea, good, yeah. Yeah. but it's like... Yeah. Well, UCLA being ranked, I mean, they're right on USC and Oregon's heels. Mm-hmm. And so um, they... I think impressed me more than the USC game. They looked pretty solid. The Chosen whole game. Rosen. I mean, I'm not gonna hate. This kid is great. He's he, really he's good. He's six four, two ten. He's a local product. He comes out of St. John Bosco. He was the number two quarterback in his class, and the dude's a stud. Yeah. Now, naturally, I hate him because he plays for UCLA. But <laughs> again, I want I want you guys to win as many games as possible until we play and we beat you. 
so that we look better. I want yeah. Notre Dame to win as many games as possible. That way we beat them and we look better. Well, and, and UCLA didn't know, you know, Hundley leaves. He went to the NFL and everybody's like, oh my gosh, UCLA is going to be in trouble because we got our, you know, great quarterback from the last three years leaving. But this Rosen kid's better than Hundley. I mean, he... Yeah, he's a true pocket passer. He this is going to be... He's legit. He's not that dual threat guy that Hundley was where if he has to break away and sprint out yeah. well no rosen's gonna sit in the pocket he's gonna throw he threw for 350 yards yeah. he threw four touchdowns to, he spread it out too yeah he months. threw 12 different guys yeah i mean that and that's the kind of offense you, you expect from a pac-12 team you know uh, a spread off uh, not a spread offense but a west coast style offense where you're throwing to multiple targets yeah and you know he was very very impressive and you know it was against virginia it, you know they're a division one team from a power conference so yeah. It, it wasn't, you know, them warming up against Portland State or, or some Division II school. No, yeah, they're a good team. I mean, they're coming to the Rose Bowl, so we've got the advantage there. Um, but he just, his passes were crisp. They were on target. He only, I think there was only seven incomplete passes in yeah, the game. Yeah, next week I expect him to light up UNLV. Like, I yeah. I don't see him not throwing a clinic at UNLV. Yeah. And, the, you know, the biggest question mark was, is the offense going to click? And, you know, clearly the offense is clicking under him. What I feel that the UCLA problem is going to be moving forward is your defensive depth. I mean, uh, you lose your your uh, D lineman um, Eddie Vanderdoes because he tore his MCL or ACL, yeah. I, uh, one of the two. But he was leading the team in tackles that day, and you know that's unfortunate. The only silver lining to that is now that he you lose him in week one, he's out for the season. Yeah. He gets the red shirt. That's the only cool thing. Yeah. And so then you got you back. got this moron Ishmael Adams. Why are you assaulting your Uber driver? Like, like, seriously, who does that? I don't know. Like, it's 3.30 in the morning, you're pissed drunk, and you assault this guy because... Uh, do you know he was drunk? Yeah. Uh, that, uh, allegedly, okay. allegedly, uh, when the when the UCLA campus police took him in, uh, he had alcohol on his breath, yeah. and the Uber driver's claiming that he was belligerent and he was intoxicated. At least he was taking Uber. Uh, uh, so there's there that. Go. Do not drink and drive. At least he was responsible enough to use his Uber app and have someone pick him up and drive him around. Do not text and drive. Do not drink and drive. That was smart. Maybe this Uber driver was a dick. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> maybe but he was a USC why? fan. Maybe There's he was a good chance. Okay. Okay. That okay. I'll buy. That I'll buy. But and then no I would say, okay, beat violence that guy's is ass. never the answer. No. You should. You, They're football players, dude. Why? Why did They're he? They're football players. Why was he trying to steal his phone? That's really. He tried dumb. to steal the Uber yeah, driver. He took the, the Uber driver's phone. Oh god. So it's like ugh. probably to to call Uber to tell him get, <laughs> to fire this driver. <laughs> Um, USC <coughs> plays Idaho next week. That should be an e you know easy game, I would assume. But then they play. Then they have a stretch where they play Stanford and Arizona State. After that, yeah, Arizona but, State's tough. I mean, Stanford mm -hmm. uh, they didn't do so well up in Northwestern. But uh, no, we're gonna have a lot of USC a tough team, and so is Arizona State. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of we're gonna have a lot of USC talk this year. But their schedule's tough. I mean, they play Utah in the middle in o October twenty fourth. And then they play or to end the season they play Oregon and UCLA. I mean, th Oregon this needs is... to do something. You give up forty some points to who did they play at? like Eastern Washington? Yeah, like you give up forty points to Eastern. Washington. What they're doing is they're they're playing the typical style of uh, Big Twelve football where yeah. we're going to outscore you. That's why we're going to win. We're not going to we're not going to beat you. We're going to outscore you. Last yeah. touchdown win. Yeah, it's I think like, both UCLA and USC will be end up being ahead of Oregon mm -hmm. as we get moved towards it. Because Oregon's going to lose one of their games, I'm sure. But but USC's got a tough schedule. I mean, it's not that UCLA doesn't, but but they do have a tough schedule. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, the pressure's on Cody Kessler because he, he's the Heisman hopeful. Yeah, and you know, and there's you know, this is like I said, this is the first year post Reggie Bush sanctions. Yeah. There's no excuse no. for anything. We've now. got good we've got good recruit class. They had one you've of the top got the recruit recruiting class. class. You have all your scholarships available to you. The depth should be there. Mm -hmm. So this is when you would fire Sarkeesian if without these restrictions he does not succeed. Yeah. And he was here when these sanctions happened. Yeah. So I mean So so it's going to be a test for him, but I think Kessler's good. I think they're yeah. going to – it's just going to come down to, uh, you know, is Sarkeesian going to be able to lead these guys uh, in these tough games? UCLA, their schedule coming up, they play UNLV, like you said, and then they play, B play BYU. BYU's not n not a but bad BYU team. BYU just lost their starting quarterback. Oh, that's right. And, they, you know, that's they right. win all that, that crazy Hail Mary pass. You know, B uh, uh, Bronco's a really good coach, and, yeah. you know, he leads his team out there week in, week out. And they're always BYU, you know, because they were independent such a long time. They're always that like sleeper team. Yeah. That which which BYU is going to show up? Are they going to upset? 
and I think that's going to be a really good game. So you got to be it's it's These schools in Utah, man. They play football out there now. Yeah. It's at home now. Yeah. At it's the Rose it's Bowl. at the Rose Bowl. So I would give the advantage to UCLA and then they play uh, we'll be talking more USC UCLA on, in the coming week, weeks, of course, as we get rolling with the season. But it's exciting that football's starting again. So, what about uh, college football players? Why are they so stupid? Besides I, the Uber driver, I don't know why they're so stupid. It's like guys, well, they're come eighteen on. and nineteen years old. It That's one matter. reason. When I was eighteen, nineteen, I wasn't some asshole going around getting uh, convicted or I'm sorry, accused of sexual assault or stealing crab legs or beating up a, a driver for his cell phone. Well, they're the popular or, person or being on some campus. Belligerent drunk, but they're right. But you, you tell me, hey. Albert, listen up. You are two to four years away from being a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. Just keep your hands to yourself yeah. and don't like rob Just people. Just look at the ladies. Don't touch the and, ladies. Yeah, and, and don't rob people. Don't assault people outside don't the rob nightclub. People and don't steal crab I would, legs. I never did that. And I, I never wasn't promised that. millions of dollars. Yeah. I still haven't done that. And I'm not promised millions. Why yeah. can't you do it? There's a lot of testosterone flowing through football players. I mean, I'm just... It's, I, I, it, <laughs> So they it's are. Really, it's really disappointing. It's like you have this future ahead of you, where you're going to be rich and famous. Yeah. Why are you throwing it away over a laptop or a tablet you're going to steal over a cell phone? Yeah. Over I don't know, just a drunken night. Like stop being a moron. Like what the hell's wrong with you? Exactly. But well, we'll we'll be keeping tabs all year on, on dumb college football players. Dumb college football players. Look look. For we'll probably that on be the tweeting. Twitter. Yeah, we'll be tweeting about that. Uh, but what's at least our, like you said, our... he was smart enough to not drink and drive and call an Uber. Yes. Uh, but our gift of the day, as we leave you on our show, uh, if you guys probably recognize this, this is Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz asking, "What would you do if you had a brain?" So that's what we're going to be asking mm -hmm. these uh, stupid college athletes who decide to get themselves arrested and you know alter their futures. Funny. That's true. But uh, guys, that's our show. Don't forget to stalk us on the Twitter at Best Coast Show. Like, share, subscribe. That's Curtis Stage. You guys have a good night.